and now I'm going to click out of that component and show you how to work on some interesting ways to make a roof. So we did a couple roof styles earlier and let's look at some other possibilities. So the first time we did a pencil and we just carved off the roof. That is one way. You can reverse that and draw it. Instead of carving out, you can add on. So there's a vertical line. I know it's vertical because it's blue. Connect your shapes together on the edges. And then simply use your push-pull tool to bring it across. Connect with the edges there. And that's one way to do it. Undo, undo. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Another way, simpler sometimes. It's simpler if you have a perfectly mm, equal rectangle. So you draw a line from center point to center point, And then select that line. Line. There we go. And then use the move tool. What we're going to do is move that line up. Now I want this to stay vertical. So what, if you're paying attention, that needs to be blue. It's not always easy to see. If it's black, it's going to be uneven in some way. So if it rises vertically, it'll be blue. That's a very interesting way to do it. Now you don't always want a roof that looks like that. So sometimes we want to do it different. So let's try this. So we can take also the pencil. crisscross a line on a rectangle, you find the center, so blue line will tell me that it's vertical. If you connect all the edges, they'll automatically fill in the shapes. Sometimes I resort to that when the other techniques are not working. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's see if we can this time Cross the lines, and I'm doing half lines to the center of this. This time I'm going to take the move tool, and I don't want them to all stay the same when I move them, so I'm going to click in the center, and I want, I'm looking for a blue line to let me know that I'm staying vertical. And that distorted that shape into the previous shape of the roof that we designed with the pencil. Another possible way to do this would be to take the offset tool. Let's say you want to be a little more realistic, have an awning. You could design the roof with the overhang. And there's several ways you could do this. You could use any of those techniques I just showed you. Since you have some breaks in this bottom rectangle, probably that last technique isn't going to work. This is where I often resort to using the pencil tool of an accommodation, but it works. So there you have it. Several ways to make a roof. There are about a dozen more ways to do that and to make more complicated roofs, but that's one way. you can try. Okay, let's make a slightly different style roof on this box. And I believe it's a component, so I'm going to click into it to edit. This time I'm going to do the offset again to make an overhang. There we go. And let's make some Let's manually make some triangles on the edges here. So this one, notice I often move to the side angle so I can get a view of what's happening sideways. Sometimes in 3D it doesn't exactly do what you think it's doing if you're at a strange angle. So definitely use the mouse to move around as often as you can. So for this, I'm going to intersect these roof lines together. And sometimes it stops on an edge, so I'm going to grab it again and stop there. This time I'm going to bring that one. And notice it just travels all the way through the other roof line. Now, technically, they're not joined together, which 
can cause a problem. So I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to click on the whole shape, right click, and I'm going to choose this selection called Intersect Faces with Model. Notice it added actual lines on the edges there. So now those are t connected together and really can't be separated. But you do want it that way most of the time. So that allows you to, uh, if I wanted to erase something, it wouldn't cause any problems on other parts of the model. 